Well, for more on this uh, story, let's now cross to my colleague Diabo Sito, who is at the Energy in Daba for us in Cape Town. Thanks very much, uh, Diabo. Earlier when we spoke to you, you were on the ground uh, talking to exhibitors. Tell us what you have in store for us now. All right. Uh, hi, Nompu. Yes, we are still here on the floor. And as I promised in the last hour, I did say that I'm walking around to see what the exhibitors have put uh, or put out and what they're doing, what innovators. And I've come across a green scooter. You know, renewable energy is not just about clean energy in the home or in the workplace. It's also about a clean energy on the streets. And this is what the green scooter is, 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 is seeks to do. I understand that it is the first um, electric motor tricycle for the African market uh, and it's targeted at daily commuters who require a last mile ride and consumers who would like to own an affordable electric vehicle for short to medium term dis distance trip. I believe that um, they say that a uh, green scooter is something that one should consider. And uh, let's speak to uh, the person behind uh, the green scooter which is Fezi Lezamini to find out you know, how is it going? Fezile, thank you so much. This is a lovely one. Even I can fit in here. No, no, tell, me a little, tell me a little bit more about this one. All right, so this is the ZBRS. Uh, the ZBRS is a passenger vehicle, uh, one of a kind. Um, has a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour, average driving speed 42.5, has a cross vehicle mass of about 350, charge time three and a half hours. This model particular will give you about 90 kilometers of range. Our latest models will give you about 120 kilometers of range from and a single you charge. How much? How much? This one? This one uh, from a cost price. So this one, we, we retail this at 94,500. Okay. We've got another model, we've got two different variants. However, our other variant is a delivery model, it's a delivery vehicle. Right. So that's where like most of our market is coming in because again, I mean, it's the eco, it's the ecosystem from an e-commerce perspective where, you know, we're serving a huge need in that regard. So that one is about 115,500, also serves the same purpose. So when you look at that one, it's closed off, it's a one-seater. Okay. So our vehicles, again, what's most important? Why don't you show me uh, a little bit inside? I'm sure our viewers are quite keen to see what it looks like inside. All right, cool. So, Again, window, um, handlebars, right here underneath the, underneath the seat. Uh, this, this, this over here, it's uh, it, that over there is where the battery sits. Okay. Right, so we've got the battery that sits right there, center of gravity purposes. So the battery sits under the seat. Under the seat okay. for center of gravity. Right. And um, I mean, you've got your handlebars. You've got two USB ports over there. You've got seat belts for both drivers and passengers. We're the only vehicle again in this in this particular category that's taken safety to this level that we're at. We do stress testing on our, on our on our seat belts. We've done crash test reporting on our vehicles as well. I mean, I've done donuts in this vehicle. I mean, if you go online, you can see my videos. I've, I've, I've pushed the vehicle to the max to show that it's a quality product. Are there chances of, of capsizing? Not so much if you drive it well and if you know what it is that you're doing. And then to, um, seats for passengers. So the passengers as well, they also have seat belts. So no one is isolated from a safety perspective. Our cargo vehicle here it is closed off right so meaning that you've got a you've got a um, you've got a, you'll have a door you'll have a door feature at the back just move to the and then so and yeah and then with that door with that door function that's where you you know you'll put in all your all, all your goods right here it's a boot so this is a boot space over here i mean it, it's about 50 cubic centimeters of space i uh, can't really um i don't have the key to open it i would have opened it for you guys uh, take you through this. Uh, let me show you the charging. The charging stuff. Okay. So, the most important thing for for um, EV development is simplicity in terms of usage. So, what 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 we what we have is that you can literally charge it using a two-phase, three-phase wall socket. Okay. So you just plug it in in your two two forty volts uh, at home extension cord. Uh, how, long? how long? About three and a half hours. So okay. three and a half hours, you get you get a full charge, and you're good. And a full charge gives you how many kilometers roughly? This one, this one here will give you 90 kilometers. Our later models that we're launching will will give you about 120 kilometers, and then we will be launching another amazing product later on this year. Right, right. First, Africa's first solar-powered electric vehicle. Right. 
Basically, tell me about um, the process of product development in an economy such like such as South Africa. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages when when it comes to product development such as the green scooter? Look, there's 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 um, more disadvantages than advantages. I'll be honest, and that's because I mean th things cost a lot of money. You know, you need to have enough capital to to to. To, 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 fund, to fund it all throughout. And on my side, my company is bootstrapped, but we managed to, you know, uh, uh, thankfully get some investment from abroad uh, in terms of our, our, our uh, scale, uh, scaling um, objectives that will that'll be uh, do, doing later on this year. But it's difficult to, 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 to launch a product. It's difficult to build a product. It's difficult to see it right into the market and inception uh, because of... Um, Barriers to, to, to not necessarily uh, barriers to funding. Funding is a big issue. If you're not going to get things like funding locally, trust me, you're not going to. It's going to be a problem. Fazil Lamini, thank you so much. Um, he is with the Green Scooter. He's been showing us around this in this um, uh, innovation that his company does. Um, he says that it's great if you know you've got the money to buy. Um, those that are into deliveries and stuff, this would be also an exceptional one. Nompu, this is a great um, a, a platform to see the kind of innovation that is in the country. And also, you've all, you've heard from about the challenges of getting product development and that is all that uh, we have for you for this hour I'll be back again in the next hour trying to get hold of another exhibitor to show you some awesome stuff that's happening here at the Africa Energy in Daba in uh, Cape Town